I guess this is a good place to start to show what we did here. So here is it three, which was the melody figures. And uh, it starts here at stanza one in muse score. And this is the same piece over here in Reaper. And then it four, which is here, which is what we call the rhythm variations. We did that over here. Now let's start with stand the one. So that's the same. And then over here, we took five, it sounds like this. which was the arpeggio figures. And again, we have that over here. But the beauty of it is we've been wanting to combine all three all along. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 20, Simplicity. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we really wanted a combination of it, three, four, and five, uh, uh, which you just heard us play. We had rhythm figures, arpeggio figures, melody figures, but we wanted all three to play. And that's kind of hard to do in muse score because you know you've got five five lines here and five other lines and five other lines and it's just a mess to put it all together and then if we want to change the relative balances which is today's theme it's kind of hard to do however in reaper it's very easy to do because you have separate volume sliders down here for each of the three tracks like this one we were soloing that one uh, we were soloing that one etc cetera, etc cetera. Now, it turns out that it sounded okay to leave them all equibalanced as they are and just kind of tune the total down. So that was a major result today. And then we went ahead and animated it over here uh, using a simple, uh, we decided to make a, a, six, uh, a wave shape to represent the sweep synthesizers, which are uh, it three. And then we used a simple six-pointed star to represent the arpeggio pizzicato variations. So our new animation looks like this on the right-hand side. So we really like how that turned out. The second thing we did in today's stream is we started a new uh, score that we called uh, Simplicity. And the simplicity is based on a memory of a piece of music that we heard. It was a concerto of some sort. It might have been clarinet. But what we liked about it was that it is just starting with the scale. And then we added uh, a counter melody and uh, based again on our memory. And then we spent a bunch of time today um, getting that straightened out. So we're going to play, uh, we're going to, we're going to play, uh, what are we going to play for you? We'll play some more of this animation just so you can see something nice and visual. But we'll, we'll play it from I don't know somewhere halfway through, like there. Here we here we go.
So what we like about this is the three parts are finally combined. The six-pointed star really visually accompanies the fast pizzicato arpeggios because we wanted arpeggios all along. The, the blue waves at the bottom are giving a visual emphasis to the sweep synthesizer. So sweep and the waves kind of you know, cognitively go together. Also, when the pizzicato star gets bright, the waves get bright, but not exactly at the same time. So there's kind of a... Um, there's a word for this, but there's kind of a lapse and a lag between that. So it's, it's, and so you could come up with all kinds of mental images, like the waves are chasing the star and the star is running away from the waves. And every time the star brightens up, the waves brighten up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But there's kind of, kind of a nice visual cognitive storytelling you can do there. So that's it. And now we'll play for you the composition currently in progress called Simplicity. And we'll, We'll let it go up just a little bit here. And we're looking for simple bouncing off of each other. So here we go. So what we like about this is A, it's simple, B, it's subtle. For example, we switch to a three time here where it says phrases three and four. It's a three time rather versus a two time at the beginning. And we also intend to, this is currently in the standard do, re, mi scale. So we're gonna do it again in the new heptatonic parallel two scale. And wherever we have modes, uh, the, remember the most change in that new scale. So that ends today's stream. Our ideas for next time are indeed to continue with uh, simplicity and also share the work we've done. Shout outs to Ross and Benny Boy who stopped by and were with us today. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.